What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a week one Monday Night Football doubleheader recap for the 2016 NFL season. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things, but both these games were completely ridiculous when you just look at the fact that they're NFL teams. Like, you're not playing Pop Warner versus a high school team or a Pop Warner versus a college team. It's two NFL teams in each game. But we're going to just go ahead and uh, talk about this right now. Like, with the Steelers, we know that Le'Veon Bell is out. But D'Angelo Williams, I've been trying to tell people, bro, I don't care how old he is, and I know that there's a whole thing about the decline of running backs and things like that. That man looked like he's five. Like, he's running around like a real toddler, dog. I don't know what is happening, but Le'Veon Bell needs to stay off the weed because I know that he's probably the future, but D'Angelo Williams, man, for those years in um, Carolina, man, where it was just him and, you know, Jonathan Stewart, and we were trying to figure out with whatever, and you're going to you're gonna stay with the younger guy. And Jonathan Stewart is a very, very stout, muscular, ready to go. I don't know if he's juicing. I don't know what it is, but that dude is a serious man. I'm not taking anything away from him, but D'Angelo Williams, in my opinion, was always the favorite when it came to that offense with uh, with the Carolina Panthers. But that's neither here nor there. He ran all over them. He did what he had to do. Two touchdowns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I just want to know something right now. Why was Breland on Antonio Brown? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, Josh Norman got his money, right? And he, I, it don't matter who's on AB. Let's let's just be honest about it. Because people are like, yo, bro. You know, if Josh Norman, no, 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 no. Josh Norman has been getting burnt in practice. I'm not saying anything about the fact that he, you know, would he, would he, would he have been able to play better against AB? Maybe, but Breland is no slouch. Breland is not a, a bum corner. He may have looked like a bum yesterday, but he's not a bum corner. And he's probably going to be a t one of the top free agent cornerbacks soon. So I'm, I'm not taking anything away from him either. You understand what I'm saying? Like guys have to understand something about football. Playing corner is very, very difficult. Even with all the new rules, you can't touch them and all kind of stuff. Usually, back in the day, you punch one of them in the face on the line of scrimmage. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can't really touch him. And nobody can run around and say that this guy's a bum. He's not a bum. But you would think that Josh Norman would be on the top uh, top wide receiver in these cases. And, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? But we're never going to get into that fact that AB is doing twerks and stuff. I, I don't know what he was doing, but he twerked kind of. Bro, look, the dude got some twerk action. You know what I'm saying? Let's not. If we're going to rate his twerk, we got to give him a 10. You see what I'm saying? Like, with, with all the stuff I'm seeing on Instagram and Twitter and all the stuff like that, you got to give this man a 10 for his twerk action. The dude had maximum capacity with his twerk. So that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is, I would have liked to see Josh Norman on him so that I could watch Josh Norman get burnt. And then within my heart, I can know that he shouldn't have got paid the what he got paid because he was a system corner because he's not going man to man AB. Nobody is man to man in AB. Just not happening. That's like telling trying to tell me that you're going to man to man OBJ. You're not doing it. You're going to get burnt for 6. You're not man to man in Julio Jones. Look, it's certain guys you're not you can't man to man. You know that 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 Rebus Island BS is done. We already know he's washed up. He's been washed offshore. Dudes over there doing anal sex on his island right now. Pretty much is what AJ Green was doing to him. So let's just continue to go on with this. Kirk Cousins, he's a bum. And I've been saying that, listen, I don't care about him winning all those games last year with, with teams under 500 and all that BS and he's franchise tagged and all that stuff like that. I'm not concerned about that. I watched this man throw the ball directly to Shazier. Listen, let me just tell you something right now. When you make throws like that as a quarterback that's in a contract year, you don't deserve the money. Let me just tell you that right now. I knew the Redskins were gonna, was going to get reamed, but I didn't expect them to play like this. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought they would come out with some pride. These dudes bent over and was asking them to go gently in more inside them. You know what I'm saying? Like This, this was complete, disgusting, ridiculous play. And it, it's kind of started with, ba with, you know, with bad offensive decisions. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't really know what the coordinator is doing. I don't know what's happening. Um, but the Redskins, they didn't look like they came with the right game plan against the Steelers. Everybody knows the Steelers is always going to be a top defense. So even if you get off to a fast start, you're in the first quarter, six zip. Even if you get up to a fast start, you know that that defense is coming. Mike Tomlin is known for that. You're not going to go in there and just do whatever you want to do to them. I don't Listen, they're not prostitutes. You're not doing whatever you want to do to these guys. So even though it started off like that, you knew they were coming. So all I'm saying is this, if you're the Redskins, you gotta, you can't take field goals. You can't do it, listen, you can't do anything else other than score touchdowns. And Kirk Cousins is not doing that. You understand what I'm saying? Kirk Cousins is not a guy that's gonna come out and light it up. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody's on notice. They know what he's trying to do. He's trying to get, you know, make it look like he's still raw. That dude is a bum. The, the, the Redskins suck. I don't care what none of you got to say. They're not doing anything. The Giants are winning the NFC East, and that's point blank period. And I don't really give a F. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at it, and it's not like I have favoritism, you know, because I'm from New York and whatever. I told you guys last year the Giants suck. And I don't give a F. I was fighting in my barber shop trying to fight my uncles. Oh, listen, I'm going to let you know how it looks when it starts. And a lot of it wasn't even the Giants' fault last year. You know, uh, you know, Victor Cruz not being there, all kind of crap was going on. But that's neither here nor there. I'm talking about what's on the field. I'm looking at what's going on on the field and the decisions that they're making. I'm going to tell you this right now. The Redskins are straight shit stains on the toilet paper of life. Steelers looking good. Like I said, Le'Veon Bell better stay off the weed, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'll try to trade him. If I'm an owner and this guy keeps doing the same ridiculous, I I'll trade him. See what I can get out of D'Angelo Williams for another year and just say, look, just get the F out of here. Get, get all the value I can get for him. Get him out of there, bro. Because you got to look, you, this team has the potential every year to go so far. And these guys are making these athletes, bro. Stop. Just stop. It's stupid. Stop it, bro. Put the weed down. Try to sneak it in in the offseason or something. It doesn't matter. And I, I, I'm not saying that cannabis is bad, all that stuff like that. I'm just saying that it's against their rules. You see what I'm saying? I'm not telling anybody, yo, you know, if you're a young child watching this podcast, stay away from drugs. But if you're an adult and you feel like you want to do it, that's your business. I'm Look, I'm just telling you that if it messes with your millions, don't do it. But all in all, the Redskins are straight butt cheeks, bro. Now, going over to the Rams and the 49ers, I don't know how the hell Jeff Fisher is still a coach in the league. How is Jeff Fisher coaching in the league when there's so many other either college coaches? I don't care if you get a, a freaking high school kid to coach the Rams. Aaron, Aaron Donald gets ejected, right? They're getting blown out 21 zip at this point, right? You don't think that the frustration that's going into for, for him to push a guy like Patton, who I think he flopped and flew on the ground or whatever, rolled around like he was like some kind of mistress or something that's trying to get some money. Patton just... What I know Aaron Donald is strong, but that just looked kind of ridiculous. You're still you're still a football player, bro. You can't be rolling around in the dirt like, you know what I'm saying? Like you just got abused and you're a little chick or something. I'm gonna tell you this right now though. The frustration set in, and guys are just like, you know what? Jeff Fisher is a douchebag. I don't know how this man could yo, he continues to underachieve. The Rams have one of the best defenses in the league. And he continues every year to underachieve. And he just keeps getting rewarded. That's like you have a little kid, right? And they do something like, they do something you're talking about to do. Like they, they go into the kitchen and they throw all, like they get a seasoning, like an adobo, and just throw it all over the kitchen. And you're like, you know what? Let's go get some ice cream. You can't reward them for doing the wrong goddamn thing. You can't do that. And that's what the Rams ownership is doing. Jeff Fisher has always been a bum coach. Okay, he went to the Super Bowl and lost by a yard. I don't care about that. What have you done for me lately? Like, come on, bro. This dude is a joke. I'm telling you right now. I don't listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Somebody that can't speak and has slight mental retardation, has no idea what's going on in the world, has no eyeballs, no ears, no heart, and no lungs, can coach better than Jeff Fisher. This guy is a joke. He should not be doing it, but that's that's neither here nor there. Let me give my props to the 49ers, okay? Let me give my props to Chip Kelly coming out there and handling his goddamn business, man. Let's not talk about the Rams. The Rams are ass. Let's talk about how the 49ers came out there and stomped these pump mother effers in the ground. Drawn. You got your other boy out there running, running for six. All kinds of stuff is going. Running backs are doing whatever they want. You got guys that's like, yeah, bro. Uh, you know, certain guys are bumps. All kinds of stuff like that. The, the 49ers, they don't really have this, that. Let me tell you something right now. The 49ers are out there playing D. They're out there playing O. They're out there making it look like they got a system that can work. I'm going to tell you this again. The NFC West, because of, listen, Chip Kelly is a maniac, and we saw that with the Eagles. But as long as he doesn't have any kind of decision making with the actual personnel and he's just coaching, he looks like he could do a damn good job. They ran over an NFL team and zipped them, bro. Zip them. You have to give the 49ers credit for that. I thought I started seeing flashbacks of the 49ers of old with the defense, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. But then it was then again it was just the Rams. You see what I'm saying? It was just you're just playing the Rams. You're playing a bunch of bums. I don't know. I would have put I would have put golf in. I don't, look, I don't know. I don't think he was dressed for this game, but I would have just put him in anyway. I said, look, look, go in there in your suit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because Case Keenum is a bum. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I'm going to tell you, Jeff Fisher, bro, if he's still coaching at, you know, midway through the season, I'm not even going to – I'm going to – yo, bro, I'm just going to look – yo, I hate, I hate the Rams while Jeff Fisher's there. And I love me some L.A. 
but I cannot tolerate the Rams while Jeff Fisher is the head coach. Jeff Fisher is a joke, bro. Please get rid of him immediately and give the, give the job to a three-year-old toddler. Until next time, one love.